what up how's it going so i'm about to watch parasite i've been interested in this ever since i saw the trailer for it i know it got uh the best picture oscar but um i just never got around to it so i'm about to watch this right now i've heard good things about it but everybody's kept it on a hush what it's about so i have no idea what i'm in for let's start <laughs> God damn, man. I mean, you risk some cancer in the long run, but uh, get them bugs the fuck out of here. But not the boxes. <laughs> the boxes that they gonna be giving to people who got bad poison. <laughs> I was just about to say, God damn. You lucky they only take a 10%. Good job, kids, because your mom... You better get y'all fired. <laughs> Facts. Let us bask in this Wi-Fi. Scholars rock. Stop trying to talk yourself out of it, right? <laughs> about to make this man a degree. Yeah, I fuck with the sister. <laughs> oh, that's facts. Damn, I thought that was some famous painting or something. I think he talking about his sister. That's pretty dope. <laughs> I did not know what to expect for this movie. I did expect it to be this though. <laughs> oh shit, look at that room. Yo, what's up with that little boy, man? <laughs> what's up with him, yo? Yo, that reaction was crazy. Yo, what the fuck? Oh, that's the one i like how they just alluded to this being some big conspiracy of plot for the first time ever right here <laughs> i'm just thinking he hooked his sister up with a job oh i see what their game is nigga skeeted on the seats and i sat there like we know it's fake, he don't. If I was in his position, I'd be tight. She is simple. Now put her on game. Oh, I know a driver. I wonder how they gonna get the mom involved. Oh. Oh, 
아버지 지금 감정이 너무 많이 <웃음> 올라가 있는데 그걸 좀 여기까지 좀 내려가자 The hustle is real I fuck with this family 이걸 좀 하성이가 더 어린애도 있는데 결의 관자가 부엌에서 설거지하고 음식도 만들고 싶어 Spray and spittle all over the place Yo this family done hijack this family God damn <laughs> Yeah she's simple She's simple than a motherfucker <laughs> Yo this is hilarious <laughs> yo, fuck. Yo, this family is going too far. I was completely on their side. They were going too far. They done ruined a few people's lives. This is crazy. Dog, is that a plate full of peaches and pineapple? <laughs> God damn, that's some cold motherfuckers, man. No, this boy is not putting two or two together by smelling them. What the fuck? That little weird boy figured it out. That is a fact. My man was about to throw a big ass stone at him. <laughs> Yo, come on, man. My man having a piss fight. That man pissing back at him. <laughs> he pissed back at him. He said, oh, shit, motherfuck. Splash. I really fuck with this movie, man. Yo, she just did a hammer throw. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> they, they planned it so far ahead. I heard there's a twist. I wonder what this is. Are they getting played themselves? <laughs> he about to... <laughs> yeah, I knew that was coming. I was wondering if that was the puppy's food, the dog food. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. 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 In the basement under the kitchen. No. She looked crazy. Peaches don't fuck you up that much. Oh no. Oh no. Oh God, no. <laughs> no. What the fuck is down there? We not, I'm not going no deeper. This is crazy. Damn it. She ain't got the leverage no more. Y'all gonna have to kill her. Yo, this movie is fucking crazy, yo. I love it. <laughs> she joking on her ass. That's exactly how they be talking on the uh, 
on a uh, state-run news station. <laughs> yes, exactly how the news anchors be. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all gotta pay. Y'all gotta pay. <laughs> so this is a great fucking scene. Oh, that's fucked up. She about to die. What the fuck was that? Sensor <laughs> 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 Oh no 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 turn that shit off uh, oh, you're gonna go you you're gonna go you know? Oh no, no. <laughs> Oh god I just gonna sit there Ass? I know the smell he's talking about. It's like oniony. <laughs> and you do smell it on the subway sometimes. Most times. <laughs> oh no. Run, y'all. Oh my god. Y'all got it. Their house is flooded. I was wondering why they did a close up of the sewer of the sewer system, but that makes sense. They were living on the lowest lowest level. Oh. That lady got a concussion. She might die. Help me. One way you don't do nothing. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we're living a simpler life at the beginning of this movie. That's the literal difference between being like them and being like them. Their son slept outside just fine. Everything they own is gone, and it was inside. Damn. They're in completely different worlds. Right next to each other in completely different worlds. You know, it was one thing, oh, they were poor, they're rich. Now it's like, no, no, no. They don't have nothing. Their life is fucked. And them, they just going on about life. Celebrating it. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no celebration for that family. Look, oh. Oh, Radish. The rain was a blessing. If they let them people up and uh, the son, the little boy sees that crazy looking dude. <laughs> he gonna go catatonic. Oh no. Got him. Yoink. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, did he just, he just bust his shit? Oh, no. So she's dead and he's about to go on a rampage. Oh, my God. Oh. Yo. Oh. Yep, I knew that's how that boy was going to react. Respect. I knew it. He realized right at that moment. That's how you feel about all of us pores. Who ain't like this movie, man? This seemed like some '90s independent. You know what I'm saying? It's just going to end. We ain't going to know what the hell happens after this. That type of shit. With <laughs> the Miranda thing. How old are you? Yeah, he did say that. Yeah, he did say that. 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 He did say so you could buy that house. Kunari or Tekachi. Kungaseo. Krom Iman. First, let me start by saying don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you are subscribed, hit that notification. So I like that ending. The way you see the son's plan unfold, you see him by the house, you see him standing in the yard with his mom, father walks up, seems like plan is done. But then it cuts back to the son actually reading the letter that he wrote for his father. So now we are not sure if the plan is actually taking place or if that's just a dream. Because at the end of his letter, he also says so long. Um, started from the beginning. You see how they're living. They're they're struggling. They're having a hard time. They're living on the the bottom floor, which is underneath the uh, the um, street level, and that comes back into play later on in the episode. But you see, guy keeps coming around and pissing right by their window. Um, they're having a hard time making money. They're doing pizza boxes. One of the craziest parts of this movie is when. They're doing the bug spray. And he's like, hey, close the window. And the father's like, nah, we need extermination. We get it for free. Now, mind you, they're folding a bunch of pizza boxes. So this poison is going all over the place. That was insane. That, that showed the struggle they were going through. There was a lot of hints of humor in this that I was not expecting. It, it was quite a, quite a bit. Up until, I'd say, the last third of the film, this was a ha-ha affair. Then the, the friend Min comes in and he gives them this scholar stone, which uh, I guess it, it's good luck for material wealth. Okay. That's interesting because of what they're trying to achieve. They're, even the son says it like, you know, hey, this is metaphorical. Okay. The way it starts off with Min g giving his boy the hookup, A, you can do this tutoring. I know you haven't gone to college, but they'll hook you up. Just lie. Okay. He comes in, he does it. And that was crazy because at first you see you, as soon as he touched that girl's arm, I'm like, okay, they're going to get together. Okay. That's one thing. But then, uh, he's looking at that painting 
and he talks about it with the the mother who we're told by the son's friend we're told by the son's friend she's a simple woman now early on i'm like she doesn't seem that simple i was like i guess in my mind i'm thinking i guess the way they use the word simple means something different over there no no she's gullible she's easily swayed she's easily manipulated he looks at the painting and he talks about art and she's like yeah he likes to express himself he's weird he's eccentric and he comes up and he i'm thinking he's just at that moment trying to hook his sister up with the job okay nothing nothing to it the sister comes she does her little thing she she says what she says about the uh the first grade did something happen in the first grade and she says all of this about how she's a, a art therapist or something like that and then they're the family gets back together. Now, as the family gets back together, they give you a hint. There's more to this plan. They don't just outright say, hey, we're doing a plan together as a family. But he goes, hey, yeah, the plan's working. So the plan entails the sister leaving her underwear in the car of the uh, rich family's driver. The family who they're working for, their driver. And at the time, I'm like, what? What is that happening? She's not smashing. Like, I don't get why she left her panties. And even then, when I'm like, okay, the the husband, he got to not mess with those, throw him out or something. But what happened was interesting. The, the husband felt that his, I guess, you know what I'm saying? His, uh, his driver was a scoundrel and not to be trusted. Like, this is my car. You going to leave some dirty panties in there? Like, even if you smash, that's a bad look because you didn't clean up after yourself, right? So he's like, I need a, you know, I need a driver. And of course, like clockwork, the family, hey, I know someone, I can. And then it's the dad. And then it becomes clear at that moment. Oh, <laughs> they're invading. But I still didn't realize. I'm like, how? I literally say out loud, how is the mother going to come into it? I never considered the housekeeper. I don't know why. The way they did the housekeeper was dirty. She's allergic to peach fuzz and they were just blowing that shit on her. And then the husband is saying she has TB. They did a real intricate plan. Now at one point, I'm fully behind them. I'm like, yo, I respect the hustle. They gotta eat. They're doing what they gotta do. They're making it, they're invading, basically. But the husband said something that was interesting. He said, they live in a time where a call for a security guard job you get like hundreds of people with degrees and that made me think like man i had to take a step back like yeah they do the hustle but they they taking good great jobs from other people and that's fucked up um then we get the mom in there and the mom is she's gruff right she's out of everybody she don't really play that shit she almost got into an argument with the pizza chick and the pizza chick is the only one who could pay her. She was, she was popping off with her like they didn't do nothing wrong. So we see what her personality is at that time. But she was actually able to hold that in for most of her time within the, within the household. Then we get to the part where, I mean, we get to the part where the rich family, they go on a camping trip. And these idiots decide, hey, we're going to party it up in this house. We're going to live it up. This is our house now. This is our house now. And they acted like it. They were being fucking ridiculous. I mean, they're in there smashing stuff. Eating dog, uh, dog food. It's like there was no, there was no humility in them. There was no humble. They're like, hey, streets got to eat. Streets got to eat. And that's what the time, what type of time they was on. So even then, I, it was still respectable. Then they get a knock at the door. And we have, not a knock, but a ring of the doorbell. And the old housekeeper is there. And it's already weird and creepy. I'm thinking right there, oh, she about to come in there and kill everybody in that motherfucker. But they didn't do that. This is where it takes a full on turn. She says, hey, I left something in the basement. I got to go get it. I got to go get it. Now, mind you, 
the family is hiding. It's just the the mom who is now the high housekeeper. She's dealing with the other housekeeper. And they go into the basement. And the chick is trying to push the cabinet to the side. It's like, oh, no, there's a secret compartment. <laughs> what the fuck is down there? Now, she was walking down there. Just the architecture of the house. It looked real grim. It's a fucking dungeon the deeper you go down in there. But as she said, they build places like this. The threat of North Korea is always present. The threat of uh, the creditors, right? She brings that up. And I was like, creditors? That was weird to me because it was like, she put creditors with North Korea? That danger is right next door to y'all. Still didn't get that part about the creditors. Until we meet her thing that she left in the basement. It's her husband. And the creditors are after his ass. So that's the safest place for him. Right here is where it takes the craziest turn. And it, this wasn't just something they just threw in there to, hey, let's just do something that's weird. There was a, they were making a statement. It was just a whole bunch. We were literally witnessing a group of poor people steal and hijack a family of rich people. And the rich people are none the wiser. But this group of poor people who are trying to steal from the rich people are looking their nose down on this family down there. Now, and at this time, it's just the new housekeeper, the mom. Just her looking her nose down. The family, though, is listening. And like dumbasses, they're drunk. They fall. And the stupid ass son refers to his father as dad. And that's where everything <laughs> ensues. It all goes downhill. Because old, old girl is like, dad, family? She pulls out that camera quick. She said, oh, I got y'all bitch ass. And they was holding that mother, holding them motherfuckers hostage. Next thing you know, the uh the man who's in the basement and the old housekeeper they up there she giving him a massage she did an impression of uh of a news anchor from the state run television in north korea that was hilarious but they they literally have them over there you know hands up don't looking weird they were looking their nose down on these people because i guess they're like you the, you fool right like you you couldn't keep up with the hustle. That's on you. But my my thing is, had they just looked out, none of this happened. E even if the chick had just said, I feel like if the the new housekeeper, the mom, had said, look, I promise, if you don't tell, I'll take care of your husband. it will be squashed. Why? Because she's worried about that man down there. And that man can't come out. No one can know he's down there. So they both had something, a give and a take. And I feel like that would have worked out even, but the fact that the chick tried to play her, she's like, nah, fuck that. I got y'all hostage now. This was crazy, man. This was insane. And I mean, they beat, the, she, they gave old girl a concussion. They tied up the other dude. It was just real foul shit. And then they get stuck there that night because of all the camping and shit. The, the, the son wants to camp on his own. Now, the son is outside of that house in the rain, fully protected. Even though he seems as, not, as though he's not protected, but he is. Then we have the family escaping, the poor family escaping. But then they escape, they get back home and it's, it doesn't really exist no more. Everything they own is gone. It's fucked. Even the elements respond differently to poor <laughs> and, and, and rich folk. Like, like, like at no point did the rain even mean anything to them. They did some foreshadowing where the family escapes and they do a close up of the, the sewer system. And I'm like, what? What does that mean? And then they get home and I mean, it's full devastation. And these people are sitting there in a in a facility in a shelter no clothes no nothing but they're getting called to work like regular 
that if it wasn't clear before it's clear now just because you got into those rich people's lives don't mean you wanted them <laughs> like like you you not one of them they they look how they were it didn't even there was a point where the mother the rich bob says the rain was good for us huh <laughs> my man is sitting the driver he's sitting there uh let's go back real quick because this comes up and it's so subtle but it was dope that it played a part in this when they're hiding, the poor family is hiding and the rich family is there. The mom and dad are watching their son do his own little camping thing. What we see is the rich father talk about the smell of the, the dad. And I know that smell he was talking about. <laughs> it's a garlicky, oniony smell. And you smell it on the subway sometimes. It's a funk, a must. And yeah. It seems like it's superficial, right? But later on, when the poor father sees the rich father lift up that man to get the key and hold his nose, it became clear to him. Oh, you, we really not one of y'all. You don't think we mean anything. Because let's say even if the rich father doesn't know that they're related, that chick just got stabbed and he didn't give a damn that he was uh, stopping the blood. Let alone that it's his daughter. He didn't, they didn't know that, but he's stopping that blood. He didn't care. But then when that dead man, I mean, he just, ugh. And this man like worshiped him for being allowed to live in that house. I know it was creepy and weird, but so the poor father, you can see in his mind, he snapped. He's like, Dog, we, we're, we're in this low class. And he had enough of that. Right then and there. Like, y'all think y'all above me? Nah, bitch. Dog. This whole shit was good. And I'm going to watch it again. I know there's some little hints and stuff I, I missed. From, from the sister being how she was, right? Uh, they would say little things. The mom, she's like, hey, your sister would be good as a, as a con artist. Meanwhile, they're conning the shit out of this family. And then we that ending, I go back to that ending because I'm thinking, when I've seen movies like this in the past, normally when that father would have stabbed him, the camera would have did a, a downward shot and you would have just seen, you know, him dead over there. You've seen the daughter dead over there. And then the movie would have ended and we'd be like, damn, I wonder what happened. And everybody have theories. It was cool the way they wrapped it up though, right? Like the son was being communicated to. They may never see each other again other through that communication. Because I do, I do believe what we saw at the end, that wasn't for real. I don't think that actually took place. I think that's a, that's a something they are aspiring to, but. Who knows who's to say if that that son may actually makes the money or not this is a good movie and i see why the acting was acting was dope uh you know what i mean um the the mom who was supposed to be simple she played that well because she wasn't playing goofy she was playing gullible dope the father uh the rich father he acted his ass off the poor family i went from liking them to hating hating what they were doing to feeling sorry for them to just being like what the fuck and i enjoyed that i had no idea what to expect going in but this was a uh this is a good movie to me next movie